YouTube is your boy T-Set Barber, so we're going to go ahead and get right into it. We're going to be picking through the hair, lifting the hair up off the scalp, and that's just grooming it for my next step. So in this next step, I'm going to go ahead and set in my ball line with my silver Babylish Pros FX at the nape of the neck. And then I'm going to come back with a number two guard with the lever all the way open just to knock down the sides and the back and I'm gonna come back to the taper okay YouTube with this next step with the lever all the way open on my walls magic clip I'm gonna be knocking down the sides and the back and then I'm gonna come back and finish up my taper. So now that I got the sides in the back knocked down, I'm gonna open the lever all the way up, no guard on my walls magic clip, and I'm gonna create my second guideline. Now I'm going to close the lever all the way up, then I got the bottom ball, ball line. And I'm going to open the lever up to half, and I'm going to fade all the way up to my second guy line to finish fading, finish finishing off the fade. So with the lever all the way open, I'm going to push my second guy line up just to go ahead and start the brush fade over and around the ears. And I'm going to keep that drop look in the back. So this shape that I'm doing, I'm going to keep this shape through the whole haircut. coming around the back of the neck right now and I'm, I'm gonna repeat the same steps on the right side of the head going back around the head just to make sure my liners are nice and neat. Now with the number one guard, with the lever all the way open, and I'm going to be creating my third guideline here. 
going up about a full inch this time. As you can see, I'm keeping the same shape. Coming back around the head just to make sure everything matches. Perfect, perfect. So with the zero guard, with the lever all the way closed, I'm gonna be knocking out this second guy line that you see here. Now I'm gonna adjust the lever, and I'm just gonna take the fade up a little bit, but I'm gonna keep it under the second, the, I'm gonna keep it under the third guy line adjusting it back down to close and so in this clip you will see me uh adjusting the lever a lot um just working the fade and you will see me go to close to half right now the lever is all the way closed and like i say i'm gonna continue to fade out the second guy line Adjusting the lever to about half open, and I'm gonna go back around the head. And just working that fade back around the back around the left side of the head. Just in my lever closed, just to knock out some spots that I missed. Now with the number one and a half guard with the lever all the way open on my wall snatcher clip. And this will be my last guy line. And I will be going all the way up and flicking out. And I don't want to create a harsh line. I'm just going to use this to uh, flick up and flick out motion. Because I don't want to dig into the fro. With the lever all the way closed now. And I'm going to be softening up the third guy line that you see. Just softening it up. And then I'm going to come back with the number one guard with the lever. Adjust it all the way open to work, finish working that line out. Perfect. 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 With the number one guard, lever all the way open. And I'm gonna continue working that line out. Just a level to half now, and I'm gonna I'll t continue to attack that third guy line. Just the lever back open. And I will be playing with the lever quite a bit. All the way open up. Cody. Just 
it back closed. So you will see me, you will see me playing with the lever a little bit. Between open, close, and half. And uh, like I said, the higher I go on the fade, I open up, and the lower I go, I close. Adjusting the lever to half now. And just going back over the fade, doing some detail work, cleaning up some areas that may need to be cleaned up. Back with the number one and a half guard with the lever all the way open. And I'm gonna be working the back of the fade. Perfect. Same steps that I did on the side, the left side of the head. It's the same steps are gonna repeat in the back and then on the right side of the head. With the lever all the way closed. So now jumping over to the one guard with the lever adjusted to half. And like I said, repeating the same steps, I will be using my lever a lot between half open and close. And just keeping it consistent. Perfect. Adjusting that lever to close with the number one and a half guard on again, repeating the same steps as the left side. And I'm flicking all the way up and up. Like I said, I don't want to dig into the I don't want to dig into the hair because I will be shaping the sides and the top. Two guard with the lever all the way open. Uh, well, it's closed now. Just closed it. And I'm just freaking up and out. Going back to do some detail, detail work. And that's the thing about cutting hair too. It's always the good to go back and detail your work. Because you want to get the best cut as possible. With the number four guard on my cordless masters with the lever all the way open and I'm going to be taking off a half inch Perfect. no it seems like I'm taking off a lot but, but I'm not Now that I got it down the length that I wanted, I'm gonna be picking it through, pick back through it, pick it back through it. And I'm gonna come back with the uh, clippers just to shape it up. Perfect. And my next step, I'll be using shears just to get some of the small hairs that I couldn't get with the clippers.
you can see this haircut is coming together. So right now, I decided to throw the two guard back on with the lever all the way open because there was some spots that I wanted to go back and clean up. With the lever all the way closed. And just working that fade. Keeping it consistent. And again, through these haircuts, at least for me, I don't rush my haircuts. I like to take my time because I like to put up my best work. Cause you gotta realize, you gotta realize your client is walking advertising. So you're gonna want somebody to see their haircut and be like, man, that, like, that cut is fire. Like where he get that from? Coming around the back of the head to the right side of the head. And just detailing. Cleaning up. This is like my cross check right here. Even after some of my YouTube videos, I always go through my cut and be like, man, I, I, I feel like I can, I can touch that up before I, before I do the carousel. Let me touch this up real quick and then, then we can get you in the chair and finish the video. So that's just me. I'm like a perfection when it comes to this. Some lever play, lever all the way open. And like I said, the higher I go on the fade, I open the lever all the way up. And the lower I go, I close it up. Okay, I'm gonna come back and um, line the back of the neck. And I'm gonna keep it as natural as possible. Perfect. And what you do to one side, Repeat the same steps on the right side. So my next step, I'm gonna be lining up the front of the head now. And um, also in this video, I did do the beard and I did use a some enhancement on the front hairline. I didn't get it in the video, like I said um, in the beginning. I was pressed for time, um, so I, I did what I had to do. I got it done. So that's the most important thing. And as you can see on the front hairline, he's thinning a little bit. So I definitely. Uh, Definitely uh, use the uh, use the enhancement because I mean that's what enhancement for to to fill in and also to make the line and pop. Keeping the line as natural as possible. Without pushing them back, but still keeping it crispy. Perfect. 
And what you do to one side, you do to the other side. And here you go, YouTube. This is the cut. Close brush fade. Half inch off top. And I just want to thank y'all for watching. Um, like and subscribe and all that good stuff. And follow me on IG, TC the Barber and Man. Also Facebook, Tony T. Clark. Thank you for watching. Peace.